Hello and welcome to another parts factory tutorial installation video. Today we're going to be chucking an alternator on this VZVE, they're both the same engine, Holden Commodore. This tutorial will work for anything between the years 03 to about 013 and you could even work for a VF Commodore beyond the 2013 mark but this particular video is for the V6. Um, it in, in, if you are interested in this product guys it is available on our website I believe the current price as of 2021 uh, is about $223 it's one of the cheapest on the net comes with a three-year uh, warranty and free postage of course Australia wide all right guys let's get into the video right so the alternator that we're going for guys is down here where my hand is just like that first step uh, personally I would say is to remove your top engine cover just by pulling up on it there's two um, basic plastic grommets that hold that on allows it to pop away just move that out of the way then you want to get a bearing of where you're actually uh, operating here now just straight down there I can see the alternator fairly clearly um, however actually accessing the bolts themselves will probably require a little bit of uh, moving around in this general area now before we go any further, we're going to uh, disconnect the positive terminal on the battery. In order to help you guys see a little bit better, I'm going to remove this air intake uh, here, uh, just so we can see a little bit better with the camera. You see it just pops off there. You can just tuck that over to the side. It's probably best off that we unplug these plugs. You see one's held on there by a zip tie. The next step guys, is you want to take a half inch breaker bar, just stick it in the tensioner. You see how when I put that half inch breaker bar in, that fan belt there goes a little loose for a split second. You can actually just pull that belt off, moving those plugs out of our way, so you can see a bit better. And now, as you can see there, we're into that alternator area. Now that we can see these main bolts here, you have one just here where my finger is. And two underneath. Rotating the nuts to the left. You can finish it by hand. bringing the nuts out of the way somewhere nice and safe where you're not going to lose them. Now the next bolt or nut is way down the bottom. You should be able to reach your hand down there and have a feel around. Using a ratcheting spanner is probably recommended for this task as that is the easiest way to get down there. So you had the one at the front, the one at the front bottom, the third one is at the rear bottom. Using your hand, you want to get in there, feel around. I've already found it, actually surprisingly easy. And then I'm going to guide my ratchet in with my hand, lining it up. And once you've cracked that bolt, I'm assuming you should be able to finish the rest by hand or with a socket. You should be able to get in there. This part of the job is what makes this task unique. And the, the reason for that is because even if I wanted to, this alternator cannot come out with the studs still in 
the with the stud still in the engine and that's what makes this job unique you can see here as I slide this alternator it hits up against the wall of the car so I found a seven mil uh, quarter inch drive little wrench here and I'm gonna start by removing the top stud should be counterclockwise and it will pull out of the block fairly easy as the block and the bolt are both well the block is aluminium and the bolt is cast iron you can see there that stud is now pulling itself out of the block which is lovely this is the piece you're removing from the engine block itself there's three of them didn't take it was actually easier than I thought it was going to be which is good news especially on a Friday evening um, as, as you can see it's not very far into the block so each stud will take you roughly two or three minutes to get done with the right tool okay now that all three studs are removed you'll notice the alternator comes free this is when we can then first unplug the regulator plug being careful not to destroy the plug itself in the process you have your main positive wire just there looks to be a 13 mil but check in a sec there we go just finish the whole thing with your wrench leave leave the very last section on chuck all your bolts and nuts out of the out of the way Pull your main positive wire out and up and out comes your alternator right alternator is off easier than I thought actually I was very impressed by the way that Holden has uh, designed this as you can see today we're going to be putting the parts factory version straight back on the car now um, this particular alternator will suit all of the v6 LLT LEO and LY7 190 kilowatt motors now the only um, car that these won't fit is the V6 Caprice or the V6 Statesman. So these are really just for your, your standard Commodores, SV6, etc, etc, like that, and Amiga, of course, and the Crewman V6. Now guys, as I said at the start of the video, this product is available on our website. If you wanted to head over to www.partsfactoryoz.com.au, you'll see them up there. I think the price is about 230 bucks so one of the cheapest on the net and um, yeah look it obviously comes with this free installation tutorial if you've already purchased the product so I uh, hope everything's going well and uh, look let's chuck this one straight back on let's get going so first things first guys bring your alternator back down into the uh, engine bay bring that main positive wire straight back over and rotate that um, I think rotate it around to the left as the alternator will be flipped when it comes back around take your little nut off push that positive term terminal down try and tighten that bolt nice and flush obviously you want to grab that 12 mil bolt Now you want to make sure this is tight guys this cannot be loose if it um, is loose at all you, you run the risk of having it um, start to spark and cause electrical issues with your car it's very common okay now you want to rotate the alternator plug that plug back in make sure that plugs fully in Put your alternator back into the position and I'm going to start with the top stud. The top stud will help us hang the alternator. Okay, so I've got that top stud in. Now remember, it's the side without the head on it that goes into the block. One and two. So I'm going to now put the other ones in. Okay, so now that we have those in, you can use your little wrench we're going to do the exact opposite 
what, to what was required to remove the studs. I'm going to get all of them nice and tight before I put any of the uh, nuts back onto the studs. Is there, okay, and then I wanna obviously finish it off with the wrench. Right, so, I now have all the studs back in. We've done up the main positive terminal. We've put the plug in. Now, it's time to put our three alternator fixing bolts back on the studs. First, the first things first, do them up by hand. Putting that alternator up against its bracket. One, I'll do the back one before I do the front one. Two, and then final one at the front. Three, and if you do them up by hand, then you won't need to tighten them very far with your wrench. You wanna to remember that we're tightening it to the right. The front bolt can be done with your ratchet spanner. Nice and tight, guys. You don't want any of this coming loose. Be very close to completing the entire task is to put our fan belt on using our half inch extension bar. We'll get that extra wiggle room required to put it back over the top of the alternator. Pull it out. And we're getting very close to the task being completed. Remember, this one was fixed there with a zip tie, so I'll need to zip tie that back there. And I'll, I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll be zip tying the whole lot back into place. For now, I'll leave it like that. And we want to bring our air intake tubing back over here, tucking it back over the top of the throttle body. Remember, this, this air intake uh, filter should be installed properly, straight. You want to make sure that the air filter lines up perfectly with the box itself. Tucking your box lid back on, making sure it still lines up as you insert it. You want to visually inspect to make sure that the box is properly aligned and begin with your clips around the edge of the air box itself. Remember the one down the bottom, the difficult one. Making sure that none of the wiring is crimped anywhere. And remember, our little pipe here has to be tightened so it doesn't slip off in the future. Just here guys, like this. Not too tight, not required. Now, we can go to the back of the car, put the positive battery terminal back on the car, then we can do a test start. And if you did have any problem with your alternator guys, you'll notice that your light is now out and your car is now charging. All right guys, job done. Actually much easier than I thought. I'm very impressed. Um, everything went together in roughly 45 minutes. Could even probably do it quicker if you're at home and not having to film everything you do. Obviously the car's running well now guys. If you did have any alternator problems, everything's solved in that um, department. Now, if you, as I said, if you are interested in this uh, product, head on to the website. If, if you like these types of videos and you want to see this kind of thing uh, more often, It'd be wonderful if you could like and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot. Obviously, it uh, motivates me to continue uh, posting videos. And yeah, look, if you want to um, support the channel, then you're more than welcome to love it. And also, before we go, don't forget, there is the hashtag PartsFactoryOz. You're welcome to post on any form of social media, hashtag PartsFactoryOz, and ask me absolutely any question you like, uh, whether it's um, something in relation to a car you're looking at purchasing, uh, recommendations for good and reliable cars, and recommendations for, of course, bad cars. There are lots of them. I know the ins and outs of every single thing that's uh, good or bad about each um, make and model of every single car, so that's great. Oh, also guys, if you're watching this video and you would like to come over onto the website, the website now gives you the feature to download these tutorials via PDF format 
and print them so you don't have to watch uh, look at my ugly mutt and um, you can actually print them out check them off as you go step by step and on top of that there's also an audiobook feature on the website as well which I'm very proud about as you can see so yeah look we've got it all head on over to partsfactoryoz.com.au and check it out for yourself all right guys I'm Lucas Strabs and see you next time thank you <laughs>